At 5, a new law being introduced to help you avoid a tragic mix-up if your loved one should ever pass away unexpectedly. ABC 15's Eric English is live at the state capitol. And Eric, you talked with a family today that have been directly affected by this. Well, Steve, imagine if there's a question about who lived and who died in a horrible car crash. Now imagine that you couldn't see the remains to see if that was indeed your loved ones. Well, that's exactly what happened to one Valley family last summer. Now there's a bill moving through the Capitol here to make sure that that scenario doesn't happen again. I bet that was an encouragement. Inside the chambers of the state senate, family and friends of Abby Guerra took the first step towards ensuring that the tragedy that happened to them doesn't happen to anyone else. We're hoping that we can make change today. Last summer, Abby and a friend, Marlena Cantu, were involved in a serious rollover crash. Somehow, the two girls' identities were switched. At first, Abby's family was told that she was dead, but it was later learned that Marlena was the one who died in the crash. Both girls sustained serious head injuries, and it was ultimately a fingerprint that ID'd the girls. But Abby's family says the medical examiner's office didn't allow the families to view the body for six days after the crash, prolonging the mix-up. And it's hard to put in words because imagine yourself, you know, somebody telling you that your loved one, your your kid has died and you can't you can't see the body. But now Abby's law, a Senate bill read for the first time today, would make it mandatory for a medical examiner's office to show family members the body of someone who passed in a timely manner. Senator Nancy Barto sponsored Abby's law. Apparently in this case they had asked and asked for six days in a row and it had been denied. So there was obviously some barrier in the way. So we're trying to breach that barrier. A simple new law that could help families gain closure during the toughest of times. Now, within the last hour, the bill passed through the Senate without objection. We understand that Abby is still recovering from head trauma that she sustained in the crash. Her aunt told me this afternoon that she is still in a wheelchair. But if this bill does make it to a vote in the Senate, they would like to have Abby there to witness it. We're live in front of the Capitol tonight. Eric English, ABC 15 News. We're